Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Natural State Rebels. My name is Susan, and my husband Shane and I sold almost everything we own, and we bought a 38-foot Class A motorhome to live in full-time. And right now, we're in Colorado. We're just traveling around. Today, I want to talk to you about the National Park Passport. I couldn't find a lot of information out about this online, so I wanted, and I was kind of confused when we got ours. Um, and so I wanted to kind of give you an introduction as to what it is and how to use it. So, and I honestly, I wouldn't even have known about this passport had I not seen another YouTube channel talk about it. But first off, we have the small little passport here, and this one cost about $12.95. $12.95 and I bought this at an actual visitor center at a at the Dinosaur National Monument so if you want a small uh, passport you can probably find these um, at most of your visitor centers but when you open it up it has a map on the inside if I can get it out here and the map in here it actually shows all of North America and it has all the different it shows all of the national parks and monuments and places all over in Canada and uh, North America it actually holds up fairly easy okay and then once you get into your passport, it kind of tells you about the national parks and um, how to use the passport. But it's still, even the instructions are a little vague. But it has, it shows you all the regions and every region is a different color. And then it tell, when you turn it tells you about all your national stamps and I'll talk about those in just a little bit where you put your stamps. And then once you get over in there, it has their EVs are color coded too. The little tabs are color coded that correspond with the um, regional map that I showed you earlier that's in here. Of course, you can't find it when you're looking for it. This one. So all of these colors that are for the regions are also color coded in the, in the tabs along the edge of the book. So, now that I've shown you a little bit about the small passport, I want to talk about this one because this is the one I was really excited to get. This is also the same thing as this except for on a bigger scale and it actually has a little binder with it. The binder, it's embroidered and it says a uh, passport to your national parks. And I just want to show you, if you get this, what it comes with and how to use it. Um, now, the smaller one was $12.95 and like I said, you can buy this at a lot of your visitor centers. But this one... Um, I bought online at the National Parks uh, online web, website and you can buy these but at the visitor center but it has to be like a really big visitor center. It's not going to be your smaller visitor centers. But it has a little pull for your zipper and when you open it, it com actually comes with a pin which is really cool. They'll place it. I hold a pen right there and it also comes with the same map in your small passport but I just kept mine right here and it has a little zippered pouch right here it's netted so you can put things in there like if you go to your national park and you buy magnets or stickers or whatever you can put them in there and they won't you know, they won't fall out and then here is where you stick your national passport parks pass if you have one you can stick one down there and then, here we go. This is the actual passport that's just like the other book, except for, like I said, it's on a bigger scale. It tells you about all the, uh, the instructions, and then here's your map, again, like the smaller one. But the one good thing about this one is, so these actually have tabs that you can, they're easier to find. And they correspond with the colors on the regional map. All the regions have different colors, like I said. And then when you turn over to your first one, this is the North Atlantic region, it has a listing of all the different parks, national parks and monuments in that area. And then if you open up the flap, it shows you a bigger map 
of all the different parks and where they are in that region, which is kind of cool. And then if you go to the park, you can just check mark, you know, which ones you've gone to. And I even give you a little spot down here in case there's other sites that you go to that they add on over time. You can put that information down here too. So each one of your regions has one of those in there and then it talks about each of the parks and it gives you a little information about each park. And then these it says official cancellations and stamps. Now I was, con this is part where I was confused. I didn't understand their terminology. So when you're talking about the national passports, the stamps are not something that you would stamp on a piece of paper. Their stamps, what they're calling a stamp, is actually what I would call a sticker. And this right here I bought also online, but this is the uh, National Parks Stamp Collection Series for 2022. And you can buy one of these for every year. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they go back to 1986. I could be wrong about that. But you can get online and buy past year's stamp series if you want to. But I bought this year. And they have, every time you buy one of these, they have um, a stamp for a regional area. And then they have one for the national, a national stamp right here. So when you go to a national park you don't have to buy the stamps to put in here but that's what these areas are for it says Nash uh, a fixed regional stamp here and so you put your stamp there now we are here in the Rocky Mountain region right now where we are here in Colorado so this is the only section that I've that we've gone that I've gotten some stuff marked off because we've gone to some of the national parks or we've gone to the Ni dinosaur national monument the fluorescent fossil beds national monument and the Rocky Mountain National Park so uh, those are the places that we've gone to here and there again it just shows you all the different areas so what I've done here in my passport let me get over there to it. Okay, so I've affixed on my on my stamp series, there was a, a stamp for the Rocky Mountain National Park. So I put that there. And then as you can see, I actually have three, well, okay, so these are not called stamps, what you would think were stamps. These are called cancellations. <laughs> it's very confusing. So when you go to a national park, you want to get your um, cancellation here on your page in that same region. So I just put, and there's three of them here. They each, this one is actually the Junior Ranger program and we didn't do the Junior Ranger program, but I thought it was kind of a neat uh, silhouette on there. So I stamped all the cancellations on there and this one was upside down as you can see. So I think I redid it. Um, anyway, and so this cancellation up here was for the fluorescent fossil beds. I don't have a stamp for that one just yet so I just have the cancellation for that one and then over here this is for the dinosaur national monument I don't have a, a stamp for that one but I have some cancellations that we did so each time you go to a national park there'll be a little cancellation station there for you to go and and um, uh, cancel put the cancellation in your passport so that kind of is explains a little bit about how to use the passport and then this particular binder also comes with this uh, plastic sleeve back here this reminds me of those trapper keepers <laughs> if you're old enough to know about a trapper keeper but uh, so it comes with this uh, little bag here now the pins are not didn't come with it I bought these pins separately and the reason I bought these is because they're colored and I'm kind of a nerd so I bought the pens that go, that correlate with all the different colors in here. So, although they didn't have a yellow pen. So that way, whenever you go to a region, say this region right here, I can take this pen that matches that color and just put a check mark on each, for each park that we go visit. I know, I'm kind of nerdy that way. But anyway, that's a really cool little um, thing. You can put all kinds of stuff in here that you purchased there at the 
at your national park if you want to and keep it uh, in your little binder here and then at the back it has another netted area so you can place longer bigger items in here that'll keep it in there and something really cool about this one is it also of course I'm probably gonna have to I don't know it's, it's gonna slide off it also has a little uh, strap that you can strap here so you don't have to just carry you don't have to just carry your binder I'm not gonna be able to get it there we go so you can actually have a little place to hold it when you're walking around so I thought that was a really cool um, feature too so it's really well made and I just wanted to kind of give you um, an instruction video about how to use your national passport uh, and and we'll put a link in the description below of this video to let you know where you can go and buy these and I like I said I think this one it was $69.95 so and this one was $12.95 so anyway um, if you've gotten some education out of this video give us a thumbs up that's one of the best ways to support our channel and if you have any questions just put them in, our, in the comments below and um, we thank you for watching uh, like subscribe all the things you know what to do and share this video on all your social media platforms and until next time live in the sunshine bye